Hey guys, how's it going? It's Linda here today with the review of the Vision Protective Shield over the VPS um, film from Kinect. Uh, this is for the iPad 2, 3, and 4, but they have some other products that it's compatible with, so keep that in mind. Lots of information on this product, um, you know, box, because you kind of have to educate the consumer why this is important. And I'm not going to show this because you can check it out on the website, but you can see, you know, just kind of some of the stuff included. On the back, it just shows um, how to install it and what's included, which you get a microfiber, a cleaning cloth, a squeegee, and the VPS film. All right, so real quick spiel on why this is important. Have no fear, I have written it down for you guys. So right here, visible light. What does that mean? That's basically what humans can see. And this range is 300 to 750 nanometers. It does vary somewhat, so different sources will tell you different kind of like, you know, ranges. But it's roughly around there. And color coded for you guys is 300 nanometers, you're getting to the violet colors. And then 750 nanometers, you're getting into the red colors. So in between those, you got the color of the rainbows, right? So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So you know, red, um, and then orange is a little bit like less wavelength, and then you get down to yellow, which is a little bit less than orange, and so on and so forth until you get two violet colors. And the next line is just discussing what, you know, what does this mean? So if you reduce the wavelength you have, so, you know, getting to the 300 nanometers, then you're going to increase the frequency and the energy that the wave contains. So that means more damage. And you know, a good example of that is UV light. So once you get down towards the 300 nanometers and even further below that or farther, one of those, then you're gonna get the damaging, you know, kind of light. And you can kind of tell there's a lot of st talk about UV light, UV protection. So you wear sunscreen or stuff like that because it is damaging. So this product is designed to reflect those, you know, UV lights away from your eyes. Um, and so, you know, you get less damage than with a regular screen shield. All right, so that's my little spiel on that. So moving back, the VPS film is on the left one. On the right one, you really can't see um, the light that I'm about to show shine on it, but this, has other purposes so we'll be in that in a little bit so real quick about the screen shield it's a matte finish it does include anti-glare as the um, packaging says um, you get less fingerprints than the regular iPad screen and on the regular screen shields uh, just because you know matte finish it doesn't show up as well but you know you still get some fingerprints if you guys can see when the lights that angle I just cleaned this one but it was a mess before all right and so I have my iPod which has the regular screen shield and then this one has the VPS film so included in this uh, reviewers kit you do get a light which shows you you know the effect of the screen shield so let's demonstrate this for you guys. So I'll move this over and move these two next to each other. So right here, this is a blue light. So that means, you know, it's not showing up violet, which this light is supposed to be violet. If you guys can kind of see there. So if I move into the smaller one, you can see it is violet. I don't know why it doesn't, the light doesn't show up as well, but whatever. But you can see it's a lot more violet than over here, which is blue. And a little bit you can see between there. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit. Scoot these over for you guys. All right. Okay, that didn't help at all. Moving over. So basically, this is what the violet light will look like. And then this is the blue light. So you can kind of see it on here. Um, if I zoom out, maybe that will help. Anyways, it was working before. I don't know. Sometimes the light reflects it differently as this is a shiny kind of glossy finish. It's hard to see, but you can kind of see what the violet color would look like around here and on here, right? So blue light, violet light, which if you get closer, you can see it. There you go. Violet, blue. So it does work. 
and that's pretty cool about this haven't experienced a product like this before so that's pretty cool uh, first exposure and didn't even know about this okay so to show you guys the matte finish does kind of dull the brightness so that is something you guys want to keep in mind is I'll show you guys both of these are on the highest brightness and there you go this one's definitely brighter than this one and I hope you guys can see that on camera if not um, to me this one looks a lot brighter and you know if I zoom in hopefully you guys can see like right there so you can see it's a glossy kind of finish here compared to the shiny and glossy finish here lots more fingerprints on here than here and things like that so that's pretty much it for this one guys if you guys want to check it out the links will be down below it works um, it also works at protecting the screen because it is a screen protector and I don't know that's pretty much it for what I have to say about it would I recommend it sure it does work and I do know you know UV light is pretty damaging so it's worth a try if you do um, you know you're in the need for a screen protector or anything like that so thank you for watching guys I will catch you guys in the next one I will see you guys later